Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our seventh lesson on a given form 2 mathematics topic called equations of a straight line. So we are looking at our fifth example, which is a past cases equation tested in 2019, paper 1, question number 18. So uh, part A of the question reads that a line L1 passes through the points at 3, 3 and 5, 7. So we are required to find the equation of L1 in the form y is equals to mx plus c, where m and c are constants. So we start by looking at part A of the question. So we are given the points are uh, 3, then of course uh, comma 3. So I'll let the first point, uh, this one to be uh, x1, then this to be y1. Then I'm also given the second point as 5, then of course comma uh, 7. So this will be my x2, then this will be uh, y2. So they want me to find the equation of the line L1. To get the equation, we need at least one point and the gradient of that particular line. Therefore, the first thing I'm going to start by getting the gradient uh, of the line, uh, the gradient of the line uh, L1. Of course, we know that gradient is given by a change in y, which is y2 minus y1, divided by change in x, which is uh, x2 minus x1. Therefore, if I substitute the values, the gradient for the line L1 will be uh, my y2, of course, is positive 7 minus my y1 is positive 3 divided by uh, my x2 is positive 5, then minus my x1, of course, is positive 3. So this will give me 7 minus 3, I'll get positive 4. Uh, 5 minus 3, I'll get positive 2. 4 divided by 2, I'll get a positive 2 as the gradient of this particular line. Now, having found the gradient, I'll use with one of the points. Let me pick the first point, which is a 3, then comma 3. I also pick a general point, uh, x, y, so that I can use this particular two to find the equation of the line x, that is uh, L1. So this will be my x1, then this will be y1. This will be uh, x2, then this will be uh, y2. Therefore, uh, to get the equation of the line uh, L1, we are going to have the following. So we know that uh, gradient, uh, the gradient of the line uh, L1 uh, must be given by uh, y2 minus y1 divided by uh, x2, then of course minus uh, x1. So the gradient of uh, L1, we got it as positive 2, therefore we'll have 2 being equal to my y2, of course, is uh, y, that is from this particular point, minus my y1 is positive 3, then divided by my x2 is uh, x, then minus my x1 is a uh, positive 3. So I'll make this a fraction, then of course I perform cross multiplication, so that x minus 3 will multiply with 2, then 1 will multiply with uh, y minus 3. So I'm going to end up with the following. So I'll have a positive 2, then into bracket uh, x minus 3 uh, being equal to positive 1 into bracket y minus 3. If I open brackets, I'll have 2 times x, I'll get a uh, positive 2x, then minus 2 by negative 3, I'll get a uh, negative 6 being equal to 1 times y, I'll get y minus 1 times negative 3, I'll get negative 3. Then I'll take negative 3 towards the left-hand side. So I'll end up with uh, 2x, then minus uh, 6, then plus 3, being equal to y. So this will give me a uh, 2x, negative 6 plus 3. I'll get negative 3, uh, being equal to uh, y. So remember, I'm required to leave my answer in the general form, which is y is equals mx plus c. Therefore, for me to achieve that, I'll simply rewrite this equation. I'll start with y. Uh, being equal to a positive a uh, 2x, then of course a uh, minus 3. Therefore, this is the equation for the line uh, L1 in the general form, which is y is equals to uh, mx plus c. Then um, we check part B, Roman 1 of the question, whereby we are being told that another line uh, L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the point negative 2, 3. So find so this is part B, a Roman 1 of the question. We are required to find the equation of L2. To get the equation, we just need to have the gradient and one point. 
We are already given at the point through L2 a passes through. Therefore, we just need to have the gradient for L2. Therefore, I'll say that since uh, since the line uh, L1, I'm told that L1 is perpendicular. It is a perpendicular to the line L2. It follows that the product of their gradients should give us negative 1. Therefore, the gradient of L1 uh, multiplied by uh, the gradient uh, for the line uh, L2. So these two gradients should give us a uh, negative 1 since the two lines are perpendicular to each other. If I let the gradient for the line L1 to be M1, then the gradient for L2 to be M2. So this product should give me negative 1. But remember, we already have the gradient for the line L1. Huh? We had already uh, gotten it as positive 2. Therefore, if I substitute, I'll have a positive 2. Uh, multiplied by M2, it should give me negative 1. I'll divide through by 2. Divide through by 2 so that 2 and 2 can cancel out. Therefore, uh, M2, which is the gradient, uh, which is the gradient uh, for the line uh, L2, will be given by negative 1 over uh, 2. Now that I have the gradient and I'm given one point, I can use uh, this particular 2 to find the equation for uh, L2. So I'll use the given point, which is uh, negative 2, then comma a uh, positive 3. Then uh, I'll also pick a general point, uh, x, y. I use with the gradient of L2 to find its equation. So of course, this will be uh, x1, then this will be y1, this will be x2, then of course, this will be uh, y2. Now, uh, from this particular point, I can easily uh, find the equation. So we know that uh, the gradient, uh, the gradient of the line uh, L2 must give us the change in y have a change in x, which is y2 minus y1 uh, divided by uh, x2 minus x1. On substituting the values, this is what I'm going to get. So the gradient for L2 is negative a half. So I'll have negative 1 over 2 uh, being equal to my y2, of course, is y, then minus uh, my y1 is positive 3, then divided by uh, x2 is simply x, then minus uh, x1 is negative 2. So this will give me negative 1 uh, divided by 2 uh, being equal to uh, y minus 3, then the whole thing divided by uh, x, negative negative will give me a positive on cross multiplication, of course, this will multiply with negative 1, then 2 will multiply with uh, the other value. So that we are going to end up with the following, negative 1, then into bracket uh, x, then of course plus 2, uh, being equal to a positive 2 into y minus uh, 3. So this will be negative um, uh, x, then negative 1 times positive 2, I'll get a negative 2. Uh, being equal to uh, 2y, then of course minus 6. So I'll take negative 6 towards the um, left hand side. So I'll end up with negative x, then minus 2. So of course, when negative 6 crosses equal sign, it becomes a positive uh, 6, being equal to a uh, 2y. So this will give me a uh, negative uh, x, then negative 2 plus 6. I'm going to get a positive uh, 4, being equal to a uh, 2 y then um uh let me separate my working uh with this particular uh straight line uh here so the aim was to get the equation for uh, the line l2 which is perpendicular to the line l1 so this one i can uh, rearrange it as 2y uh being equal to a uh, negative x then of course plus a uh, 4 then I'll divide through by 2, I divide through by 2, I divide through by 2, so that 2 and 2 can cancel out. Therefore, y will be equal to, so here the coefficient is just negative 1. Huh? So this will be negative 1 over 2x, then plus 4 divided by 2, I'll get a positive 2. Therefore, this is the equation for the line uh, L2. Then I move to B, Roman 2 of the question. So in B, Roman 2, I'm being told uh, to find uh, the x-intercept of the line L2. Now, we know that at the x-intercept, uh, so we'll say that at the x-intercept, at the x-intercept, 
uh, at the x intercept we know that the value of y is always equal to 0 remember x intercept is just a point where at the line cuts the uh, x axis therefore at the point where the line l2 is going to cut the uh, x axis the coordinate of y must be equal to 0 therefore the equation for l2 which was uh, this equation here it was y is equals to a negative a half x then of course a plus 2 I'll just substitute where I have y, I substitute with a zero. So this will be zero being equal to a negative a half x, then of course plus a two. So I can rearrange this. I'll take this to the left hand side so that I have positive a half x being equal to two. So I multiply through by two. I also multiply through by two so that two and two can cancel out. Therefore x uh, will be equal to 2 by 2, I'll get a positive 4. So this is what we are calling the uh, x-intercept. So this is the x-intercept, uh, the x-intercept of the line uh, L2 or a point through which the line L2 is going to cut the uh, x-axis. Then we move to part C of the question. So in part C, we are being told that uh, determine the points uh, the point of intersection of the line l1 and l2 so we know that so we'll say that at the point of intersection 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 the equations the equations of uh, l1 and l2 l1 and l2 will be simultaneous or are simultaneous they are simultaneous so if they are simultaneous it simply means that we can solve the two equations using either elimination or substitution uh, method therefore let me copy the equations for l1 and l2 so our equation for the line uh, l1 we got it in uh, part a of the question the question was y is equals to 2x minus 3 so this is y uh, is equals to uh, 2x minus 3 then the equation for the line uh, L2, we got it in uh, B Roman 1. The equation was y is equals to negative a half x, then plus 2. So y is equals to negative a half x, then uh, plus 2. Negative a half x plus 2. Therefore, let me use a substitution method because it's easier to work with uh, for this particular kind of a question. Because I already have y being made there a subject. Therefore, I'll just say substituting uh, substituting uh, L1 in L2. I'm going to have the following. So this was the equation L2. So where I have y, I'm going to substitute with uh, 2x minus 3. Therefore, I'll simply have 2x uh, minus 3 being equal to uh, L2 since both equations are equivalent to y. So this will be negative a half x, then of course a uh, plus 2. What I've just done, where I have y, I've substituted with this one here. So that I end up with 2x minus 3 being equal to negative a half x, then a uh, plus 2. Therefore, I'll collect the like terms uh, together. So let me take 3 uh, towards the right hand side. Then I take uh, negative a half uh, towards the uh left hand side so i'll end up with a uh, 2x then of course if negative a half cross equal sign it becomes a positive uh, a half x being equal to uh, on the right hand side i'm having a positive 2 then with a positive 3 so this is 2x plus a half x uh, is equals to a positive 2 then plus a uh, 3 then uh, of course from this particular uh, point this is what i'm gonna I get so I'll have uh, 2x then plus a half x uh, being equal to a uh, 2 plus uh, 3 I'm going to get a positive 5 I want to eliminate the fraction so I'll multiply through with the LCM of course the LCM is this is over 1 this is also over 1 the LCM is 2 so I multiply this by 2 uh, this one also by 2 this one's also by a uh, 2 which is the LCM so I'm going to end up with the following 2 by 2 I'll get a positive uh, 4x, then of course plus a 2 and 2 will cancel out. So I remain with 1x or simply x being equal to 
a 5 by 2 i'll get a positive 10 so 4x plus 1x i'll just get positive 5x uh, being equal to 10 i divide through by 5 i also divide through uh, by 5 so 5 and 5 will cancel out therefore x will be equal to a positive 2 then i'll say substituting i also want to get the value of y so i'll say substituting uh, substituting uh, x is equals to 2 in equation uh, 1 which was our equation that is equation 1 i'm going to get the following so if i substitute remember equation 1 was um, uh, given by the following this was our first equation it was uh, y is equals to a uh, 2x minus 3 so where i have x i substitute with 2 so this will be y is equals to 2 into my x is 2 then of course minus 3 so this will be a 2 by 2 i'll get 4 then minus 3 uh, which is equals to positive 1 therefore the point of intersection at uh, the point of uh, intersection the point of intersection uh, the point of intersection of l1 and l2 uh, will be given by the following of course the point of intersection is always given by x then comma y which will be given by our x coordinate is uh, positive 2 whereas the y coordinate is positive 1 therefore the point of intersection of these two lines is a 2 comma 1 thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified until next time this is kind to academy thank you very much